Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my fifth SJSU Q&A. So I'm going to be answering questions from YouTube and Instagram about SJSU. And I got asked a lot of the same questions over and over again. And some of them have to do with virus and some of them don't. So I have the questions on my phone and let's get into them. The first question is, are classes going to be in person or online? That's still up in the air right now, but as of right now, they're planning on having classes online, but that could change depending on how the virus situation changes. So definitely check the SJSU website for updates and your email. The second question is, is orientation still happening? Yes, it's still happening and yes, it's still mandatory. It's just going to be online now instead of in person. So I had a really great experience at orientation when I was a freshman and I really enjoyed working at the resource fair at orientation. So, but this is really something that needs to happen for the safety of everyone. The next question is, is tuition changing? Tuition is not changing. You still have to pay for tuition, but I see that some people will not want to pay for housing anymore. So that will probably save you some money. The next question is, how can I make friends if classes are online? I don't want to miss out on the freshman experience. I don't really have any advice for this because I kind of already knew all my friends and I already knew everyone from my classes before all of this started but I guess my biggest suggestion would be to join clubs if they end up doing online clubs and trying to meet people through social media but I don't really know I think a lot of people probably assume that I've made a lot of friends from the internet. That's not really true it's kind of three main categories of friends that I have. First is friends that I made from school, second is the friends that I made from SJSU, and the third is friends that I made through local politics and my neighborhood stuff. And then I have a few friends that I met on social media that I've ended up meeting in real life. And then a few that I haven't. But generally speaking, I've met most of my friends in real life, so I don't really know what to do. But hopefully everything will go back to normal, either before the end of fall semester or by spring semester so that you won't have to miss out on your freshman experience. You can meet people and join clubs and do all that fun stuff. The next question is, is it hard to get classes? I've never been in a situation where I couldn't get a class at all in one of the GE categories or for my major, but I did choose to take some classes at community college because I was kind of picky about the timing and the actual class itself. Popular classes, especially for GEs, do fill up really quickly and if you don't have a good registration date, you're not going to get into the class. Now it doesn't really matter that much because you're not commuting, so, so it's fine to have a class at noon and 6 p.m. That's not something that I would personally do if we were having in-person classes because I commute and I don't like on campus all day because I have other things that I need to do. But my biggest bit of advice if you're picky about the timing or the class itself or the professor is to take classes at community college and then transfer them to SJSU. There's a lot of community colleges like West Valley and Danza that do classes online so that's an option too. This next question is kind of long but basically it's about commuting from Tracy. This person, this person lives in Tracy and was planning on living on campus or near campus but isn't sure right now because of the whole situation and they kind of want to know if I think that commuting is possible if they decide to stay at home for the first semester and classes open up part way through or something like that. I think it is doable. I personally don't commute from Tracy but I do think that it is doable. Those of you that don't know, I work at Transportation Solutions at SJSU, so we help people with transportation. And we actually have a pretty decent amount of commuters from Tracy, and a lot of them choose to take the ACE train. And we do 50% discounts on those tickets um, for 20 rides and monthly passes. If I was commuting from Tracy, that's probably the option that I would pick because you can do homework on the train or sleep, and it's a lot more consistent than driving. But if you don't want to commute every day, I would definitely suggest living in the dorms. But I personally would probably choose to commute in that situation just to save money. The next question is, how is the political science program? This question was asked on a video where I talked about being a political science minor, and I personally had a great experience in the political science program. I loved most of the professors. Classes were really interesting, so I would suggest a poli-sci major or minor to anyone. And my favorite professors are Professor Professor Percival and Professor Yeager. I would highly recommend, I would highly recommend taking a class from either of them. The next question which is somewhat related is, is it worth having a minor? I'm a public relations major in the journalism and mass communication school and we're required to either do an academic focus or a minor, so I didn't really have a choice in the matter, but I do think that it's worth it because I learned a lot from my minor and I really enjoyed the classes. But if you're a STEM major or you have some sort of really hard major, then might be a lot more work and it might not be worth it for you. But if you have an easy major like I did, then I think it's absolutely worth it. And the last question that I'm going to answer is, do you regret anything about your experience at SJSU? I don't really have any major regrets. I really enjoyed my experience at SJSU. But if I were to do it all over again, I would probably try to start some sort of Young Dems or Progressive Dems club. I hate how pathetic SJSU students are and I really wish that I had the opportunity to change that. So those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering in this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments 
comment below and I will answer them in a future video or reply to you. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Good luck to all the future Spartans. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.